a like. Please tell me how I can get sponsored by Nike because it needs to happen, all right? Like, Georgetown Fishing, I'm the only one who's doing it, guys. So like, come on, at Nike, get me sponsored out here, you know? What is up, YouTube? My name is Brendan Yusuf, and this is Black Drum Fishes. Today, we're gonna be fishing a canal in Georgetown, DC. I go to Georgetown University and we're gonna see what we can catch. It's about 45-ish degrees outside, so a little cold. So we're gonna be running um, some live-ish baits, you know, corn, and we'll also be using several lures, uh, some spoons, spinners, rooster tails, stuff like that. And we're gonna see what we can catch. I have caught a couple fish in this area before, super urban. So we're gonna see what we can pull out today. Um, the water is gonna be a little cold, so hopefully it warms up a little bit and uh, we'll see what we can get. Stay tuned, guys. Currently walking to the fishing location. Uh -huh. If there's one thing you should know about DC, it's that it's a lot of walk, um, but it's fine. It's fine. I like it. Uh, we do it for a purpose. We do it for fish, you know? But uh, walking through Georgetown, kind of seeing what's going on. Got my fishing gear in the back, got an ultralight set up for me today. Uh, got my hat, a little cooler. I should have some gloves though. Uh, I guess we'll worry about that. Here. Here. This is actually where the film The Exorcist was, one of the Exorcist films, was taped. Uh, these stairs are absolutely insane, in my opinion. It's like over 50 on the steps. But hey, to get you down. We currently have to kung fu ourselves across the street to get to the fishing location here. Uh, yay! Okay, ready? One, two, and three. And we're good, we made it. Easy money. Awesome, this is where we are going to be fishing today. Um, and I know it looks really trashy, you know, the graffiti on the walls and stuff. Uh, there's some people over there. It's kind of weird, I never really see people. Uh, over here. It's a little weird. Some homeless people. Uh, this is where we are going to be fishing today. See, totally, totally urban. That's like a highway in front of us. Um, is that someone sleeping? I don't know. Alright, so this is where we're going to be fishing today. Okay, this is super weird. Uh, I was here a couple days ago and the water level was like up to that wooden thing. And now I don't know where the water went. That is so weird. I was here like last week. I mean, we're obviously still in the throne here. Uh, uh, this is just like super shallow for no reason now. Alright, this is what we're going to be running today. We got just an ultralight here. This is panfish, trout, magnet, and we are going to be going to play. Why can I not get this in? You see, this is what my Jesse with education has taught me. All right, and we are going to be uh, running this little spinner here. Uh, it's a pretty cool bait. It mimics a minnow. Since this water is really, really dark and super muddy, um, I think it's gonna be effective because it's gonna kinda kinda shut up. So let's see what we can get out here. Alright, I'm gonna be totally honest. This first spot is a bus. We're gonna move down and uh, see if the water's a little higher. A little cleaner too. Uh, you know, downstream, closer to like the river mouth. And uh, we'll see what goes on from there. But uh, first spot was a bus. Alright, fam. Being totally honest with you. This whole creek is dried up and it's kind of a crazy phenomenon because I was here, like I said, last week and now all the water is gone. Uh, like there's like little patches here and there, but like, I don't know. Hopefully as we make our way uh, down towards the river mouth, it's going to be a little a little clear, a little more water for us to fish here, guys, because we're not gonna pull any fish out if there's no water to be fished. So, this place is like getting kind of creepy. Like, to be honest with you, 
all these like brick buildings and bridges and stuff. Dude, I do not know what happened. Like, look, look at this place, huh? Absolutely wild to me. Uh, whew. Hey guys, I found something a little disturbing here. If you can see down there, there is a dead carp and several other dead carp and small catfish uh, in that corner there. Um, I do not know why this is happening to this riverbed right now, but we are going to get to the bottom of it because it looks like an area that I had fished previously is also going to be uh, exposed. So we're going to investigate this, guys. This is actually really disappointing. Um, this water, if you can see over there, is normally up to about halfway along this wall. And uh, in the span of a week, it's all drained out. So I do not know how this happened here. I really don't. Um, I'm seeing a lot of dead uh, like panfish and stuff around here which is super disappointing to me because you would hope ah there's also like if you can i don't think you guys can see that but there is some movement down there some fry some little fish down there um this is just desolate absolutely desolate and i'm wondering how it happened first of all uh there's dead fish down there too and second of all like why because this lock was uh was just open and this this water was high uh so we're gonna go a little bit downstream and see if that if it's a little better down there uh i'm gonna be honest with y'all what i saw earlier today was super disappointing but getting down to like the river bed finally kind of gave me some hope here because i'm seeing a lot of movement seeing a lot of life uh the water's looking really nice actually and uh at least there's some hope left i have to assume that all the bigger fishes here all of the uh like native migratory species would understand the fact that they needed to get to the river i'm still interested though in investigating why why would the water drain like that as it did this is the first year that we've had the canal open so it's a new phenomenon and we're still trying to understand why the water is doing this you know hopefully we can still pull out some fish today but if we don't at least we can take the larger conservatory message that we need to understand the movement of water and the changing of ecosystems to truly understand as to why um Fish are dying out here because that's that's not the goal, you know. Stop from CBS here guys. Um, it is getting a little chilly out, to be honest with y'all. And so just kind of chilling in here. And I want to really go back to the dorm and do some research on why the riverbed in, in Georgetown, why the canal is dried up. I really need to do some research on it. I really need to understand the water pattern of the Potomac. It's a new environment for me, and I've never really uh, made an analysis of, you know, a riverbed like that. I've never seen that phenomenon happen, so we're gonna have to, to do some research on it. So stay tuned for the analysis of it. All right, guys, we are back in the dorm. Thankfully, a little warmer now. Uh, but after doing some research as to why, you know, the creek was dried up and the fish that we saw today were dead, I came to the conclusion that there are several issues, both in infrastructure and in weather. Uh, at the end of summer in this region, creeks are known to dry up, riverbeds are known to dry up. It's just that I think in building this canal, since it's new, and in building the locks, the local government and the local fisheries didn't account for the fact that the fish here need a substantial amount of water to survive. and the canal itself it's, with all its vegetation and you know how it's built doesn't account for you know fish populations that can survive through the winter which is sad what we can hope for though is that they made their way out to the potomac i mean the river does drain to the potomac we can hope for that 
I, we did see several, you know, dead species of fish today, which is not what we want to, what we want to see. Uh, but it was a really cool investigation and in looking to how local creeks, especially underfished uh, creeks, can even go under drastic change in the, in the span of a few weeks. Because like I said, I fished it several, several weeks ago, actually, and it was an entirely different environment. Um, I will be fishing in Florida uh, later this month, so please subscribe and follow me on YouTube at Blackturn Fishers. Thanks, guys.